My name is Kimberly Dotson. I'm 34 years old and I teach yoga, power yoga. I also do a restorative class as well. How did you get this job? Um, well, I started off as a student. I've been doing yoga for about 10 years now, probably religiously every day. So as I started to dive deeper into my practice, I just kind of wanted to learn more about it and deepen my own practice. So I decided to do my teacher training um, last June and now I'm certified. I'm teaching about 25 classes a month right now on top of a full-time job. <laughs> yeah. So this is not your full-time job? No, no. This is my this is my love, my side, my side gig. What's your other job? My other job, I do clinical research for the rheumatology department at Presbyterian Hospital. What's the best part of your day or of your job? Um, I just enjoy giving a place for people to come and just kind of really get to know themselves um, internally and externally, kind of connect with the mind, body, and spirit. For me, you know, yoga is so much more than the physical postures. It's about, you know, creating space in the mind, um, kind of letting go of meaningless thoughts that no longer serve you so you can allow more positive things to flow into your life. Um, so it's also about letting go and finding space in the mind and just allowing the body and the mind to decompress. So what was the question? Is there, is there a downside? What's, what's the worst part? What's the worst part of the job? Um, I don't know if there's a bad part to yoga. Um, sometimes I guess you just have to worry about not injuring yourself. I think for teachers, a lot of the time when we're teaching yoga, we're not necessarily warmed up, but then we go to demo pose that our body's not ready to get into. So you just have to be careful not to injure yourself when you're teaching or demoing the poses. Would you say this is your ideal dream job? Um, I know it's hard because you got two. <laughs> <laughs> I do. I love, you know, my passion is yoga. Um, you know, before when I used to go to the gym, it was more like a chore. But um, I actually look forward to coming to yoga. Um, it's probably my favorite part of the day, whether I'm practicing or teaching. And normally they go hand in hand. So if I'm not teaching, I'm practicing as a student. And if I'm not practicing, I'm normally teaching. So I probably do it just about every day. It kind of keeps me grounded, keeps my head clear, especially for me, I have a real analytical mind. So my mind's always constantly turning little wheels. So this kind of helps me just kind of slow down everything mentally and physically. Do you have any advice to, to give to someone that's, that's thinking about becoming a yoga instructor? Um, it definitely requires a lot of time commitment, um, so you definitely want to make sure you have the necessary time to commit to your yoga practice. Um, I know in my teacher training we had to practice uh, five days a week on top of all of our training, which was Thursday night, Saturday, all day Saturday and all day Sunday, over three months. So. Yeah, it's a 200 hour certificate program and you have to, you know, fulfill all those uh, hours. Are there any common misconceptions that, that you run across that people have of, of what a yoga instructor should be? Um, no, I mean, I think a lot of people think that yoga is only for you know, young, fit people, but yoga's for all ages, all body types, so, you know, don't let that stigma deter you from trying yoga. 
And there's yoga for everyone. So if you don't want the physical vinyasa, the power yoga, there's also gentle and restorative yoga. There's deep stretch yoga. There's breath work yoga, and like kundalini, pranayama. So there's a wide variety of different types of yoga. So normally you kind of find the one that gravitates most to you and stick with it. Do you get to listen to music yes. while you work? And, and, and if so, what type of music? <laughs> um, you can make your own playlist. Um, at a lot of studios, it's kind of up to the yoga instructor what you want to listen to. I do a lot of like Pink Floyd, the XX. That's dope. That's so, not what I, was, I yeah. thought you were going to say. Like it's like some nanu nanu <laughs> music. And no, it's no. Yeah, no, I I do what I personally like, so I do Pink Floyd, a little Led Zeppelin, a little Velvet Underground, um, I'll throw in some XX, some Thievery Corporation, so you know, mix it up. I try to keep my music fresh and ever-changing. That's so. cool. That's way dope. Yeah. That's not what I expected to hear. <laughs> there is like the normal, you know, yoga stuff too, but... Do you get vacation time? Not um, with yoga, no. You just kind of have to find a sub to cover you, but yeah, no vacation time. Future plans, way future plans, like down the road when you're, when you're done with yoga. Um, Retirement, do you have a vision of that or is that way too far? Yeah, you know, ideally I think I'd like to maybe move to like the beach. I'm kind of a sun goddess. I love the ocean. It's very calming. I kind of feel like I'm in my element when I'm in the water. Um, I'm also a scuba diver, so I love to dive. So, you know, my pipe dream would be, you know, moving to the beach or an island and maybe teaching yoga and then taking people out on dive trips, you know, would be my ideal dream job. Yeah, last question. Last question. Had it to do over, would you would you do it again? Oh yeah, definitely. I wish I would have done it sooner. Um, you know, I, I'm always I'm kind of shy, like public speaking, um, like getting up in front of a room and kind of commanding an audience, and um, that was always kind of gave me anxiety. Um, but when I went through my teacher training program, they really helped me overcome that, and now I'm completely comfortable like standing in a room and all eyes on you and leading a group of people. Um, so that was really transformative for me that I could kind of bust through that barrier of public speaking and um, kind of get over that. Awesome. <laughs> I feel like I was um, nervous. Really? <laughs> yeah. Did not show. Okay. That was awesome. Okay. Perfect. She didn't look nervous at all, did she? she not, <laughs> not at all. Sweaty. I made her do yoga first. I'm like, do, oh do yoga, and then we'll ask you questions when you get all sweaty. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's good. You're awesome. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you so Doug. much. Namaste. Namaste. Namaste.